What's up, Fight Fans? Matthew B. Stucker here, being joined with Teofimo Lopez. Teo, uh, crazy fight between Lomachenko and Ortiz. What are your thoughts on what happened? I was impressed by Ortiz, really. You know, um, I didn't expect them. They, they must have studied my film of me facing Lomachenko for a while. So he did good, you know, to that point. But it's the later rounds that you really got to focus on against Lomachenko. You know, um, but I think uh, overall, Jermaine Ortiz is still seasoned enough to give everybody else a bigger and better fight as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how did you score the fight? Who do you think won it? All I know is all about business, and they're talking about Haney and Loma now. You think the fix is in? Huh? You think the fix is in? You think the judges were swayed? I don't want to say the judges or anything like that. I just want to say that if it makes money, it makes sense. You know, if if you listen to what Teofimo Lopez said, you can make an argument that he's saying that <laughs> the Ortiz got robbed. And you can make the argument that he's saying Ortiz came up short down the stretch. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there right now. I felt like he came up short down the stretch. He did enough where, under the right circumstances, the right judges, maybe they would have they would have handed it to him. But at the same time, he let his foot off the gas. And you can't do that with Lomachenko, especially when they already got a big fight lined up for him or lining up a big fight for him. However you look at it. You got to win convincingly. Now, I'm not saying he had to, like, dominate Lomachenko for round one to round 12. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if these rounds are close, if it's swing rounds, who you think they're going to? The rounds that you win, you got to win convincingly. And it appeared... Well, first of all, if you notice, Ortiz's strategy changed mid-fight. And it didn't change because Lomachenko made him change it. You could just tell he had, he had to slow down. He couldn't fight at that pace. The first, the first four or five rounds, he threw a lot of punches. He kept Lomachenko off balance. He initiated the uh, the action, kept Lomachenko going backwards. That was huge. I'll say around five, he slowed down, allowed Lomachenko to lead off. Footwork wasn't quite the same. He, he started slowing down. And Lomachenko saw it and took advantage of it. Now you see an Ortiz going backwards, trying to counter punch. To me, that's what I say when I when I say a strategy change. Now you seeing him counter punch. He they already put it out there that they wanted to get off to a fast start. Make Lomachenko have to play catch up because he's a notorious slow starter. And that's exactly what he did. He caught up really quick. I'll say by round eight, nine perhaps, I I had the, the fight extremely close. Maybe Ortiz was up. I can't remember my card. But it was extremely close at that point. And Lomachenko seemed like he just wanted it more. Ortiz still was doing some, some good stuff, some nice stuff. And might have won a round or two down the stretch. But Lomachenko just wanted it more. Showed more energy. Landed bigger shots. So with that being said, I cannot say Lomachenko... Uh, well, I can't say Lomachenko did anything. I can't say the judges robbed um, Jermaine Ortiz. He just didn't show enough energy down the stretch. Not saying he didn't touch Lomachenko down the stretch, the Latin, the championship rounds, but Lomachenko hit him with a couple shots 
that snapped his head on backwards, that that threw him off balance. He made he made immature mistakes. Coming at Lomachenko with his hands down, getting cracked, then stumbling off to the side when he should have had his hands up. And, and, and I'm not talking he had his hands down because he was tired. He had his hands down because he was, in my opinion, showboating. Same way he was doing the little foot shuffle. If you got that kind of energy, throw more punches because... When you was when you was letting your hands go like it wasn't no tomorrow, that's when you had your most success. When you led off and, and wasn't necessarily counter punching, that's when you was having your most success. And one other thing that I thought that he did, if he would have did a little bit more, it would have definitely benefited him. It was times when he went to Lomachico's body where he hurt him. And it was clear that he hurt him. Because Loma Chico would stagger off for a little while and just, you know, avoid him until he got his, his win back or whatever. If he would have took more advantage of body shots, especially early in the fight, Loma Chico might have not had the steam that he did down the stretch. It, I mean, he definitely had some success with some body shots. If he would have did that more consistently, who knows how it would have played out. But in my opinion, Loma Chico... Uh, just show more will, and, and you know, and let's let's keep it real. You know, people saying, "Well, Lomachenko had a, a ten month layoff, uh, was in the war, all this that and third. You know what? To me, a ten month ten month layoff really ain't that bad in boxing. Now you can say for a thirty five year old, yeah. Well, you could also say Lomachenko is a fresh thirty five too. It's not like he's been in 30 or 40 uh, bouts. For a person that's 34, 35, whatever he is, he's actually a, a fresh fighter based off of what he's been through in the ring. He hasn't been in wars, you know, um, been in what, maybe two, three competitive fights? Linares, Campbell, maybe, and, and, and uh, Lopez. And okay, yeah, he he did the the uh, the Olympic thing or the amateurs, you know, a little longer than most. But that's the amateurs. You're protected. You got on headgear, and you're not fighting twelve rounds. So he's a young thirty-five year old. Now let's flip it around. Ortiz, on the other hand, that was his first time going twelve rounds. You think that played his part on him? I would say so. In my opinion, I would love to see this fight, a rematch, that is, a year from now. Have Ortiz fight some stiff competition, you know, because he, he's a top 10 fighter. I'm not saying he, he deserves a championship or a shot, but fight some, 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 some other tough competition. Get some 12 rounds uh, fights under your belt, then it might be a whole different fight because clearly he didn't know how to conserve his energy to go 12 rounds. And I think that might be the thing that decided the fight more than anything. But that's my opinion. Um, a lot of people had a lot to say. You had um, a lot of boxers. Uh, a lot of comment or not commentators, but uh, writers, uh, trainers, etc. You know, had a lot to say about the fight. I didn't hear anybody say that they felt like Ortiz won the fight, but I did see a lot of people saying they thought the fight was a lot closer than the scorecard. If it would have been a draw. I could have lived with that. I, I mean, I really did think it was that close. That 15-13, I thought was on point. But I thought it could have went either way with the 15-13. I really did think it was that close. The fight was hard to score. Very hard to score, especially the whole first six or seven rounds. Because the pace was so fast. But I, me personally, 
and I, I'm going to say this, then I'm, I'm going to shut it down. I thought Ortiz won the first, I, I'll put it like this. I thought he had won four out of the first six rounds. Matter of fact, I thought he won the first four rounds, to be exact. I thought Lomachenko won the next two, maybe even three rounds after that. And I, I thought what changed, as I said earlier, Ortiz was leading off and just just displaying uh, Lomachenko with jabs and straight rights. And then on occasion when Lomachenko decide to dip off, he'll hit him with a left hook on his way out the door. I thought he was fighting brilliant early. But like I said, once he slowed down, that changed everything. And that's pretty much all I got this head busting boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think. Was it a robbery? Do you feel like Lomachico got away with one off of reputation? I, I don't think so. I really don't. I think in the later rounds, Ortiz uh, allowed Lomachico to leave uh, to lead off, and he took full advantage of it and jumped on him. And jumped on him pretty, you know, pretty good in some cases, where uh, it was hard for Ortiz to get him off. And that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxes on fight, Doctor I am out.